One of the next communication technologies that the car industry introduced in 2006 is FlexRay. With FlexRay, as with CAM, the roads are shared and all data is broadcast. What differs, however, is the organisation of the road access. FlexRay is scheduled, meaning the road access is planned ahead. This can be imagined as a traffic light system. Whoever has a green light can send its truck onto the road. In its main use, the traffic light cycle is static and the system has a deterministic behaviour. Every unit knows exactly when it can send a truck onto the road. Naturally, such systems require detailed planning ahead and the exact upfront knowledge of how often and which information exactly every unit intends to share. However, a unit cannot arbitrarily choose which information it will send in which green phase. Specific content in FlexRay is unambiguously identified by the green phase it is sent in. While CAN uses the number plates for identifying content, FlexRay uses the traffic light timing. Having a deterministic schedule has the advantage, however, over CAN, that interested recipients who've been told the schedule in advance know when to expect information and only then have to observe the road. Furthermore, at least in theory, FlexRay can be used up to its full capacity and therefore allows for a higher efficiency than CAM. In practice, however, slots are often wasted when units receive green phases but have nothing to send. The price of FlexRay is its higher coordination effort. In a small town with a FlexRay road, the complete system needs to be synchronised. All traffic lights have to run on exactly the same clock. All households and factories need to synchronise their internal processes to that same clock. Otherwise, randomly, not synchronously generated information might narrowly miss its green phase and become outdated before the next one. Putting the overall coordination effort aside, the more important question is is FlexRay better suited to serve as a road system in the ever-growing towns? Like CAN, FlexRay is a shared system that relies on broadcast. Such technologies are best in small, static systems, like the village with which we started out. Broadcast is inefficient in larger systems. Also, as with CAN, FlexRay is not suited for frequent changes or growth beyond its original capacity. FlexRay is also not self-learning. The missing capabilities of both technologies need to be compensated for with a parallel system that adds missing information, decides on the road access rights, organises cumbersome updates, etc. The loading docks serving as gateways become even more complex when they need to coordinate between technologies like CAN and FlexRay. Now, not only the exact location and addresses of all interested households need to be known. Additionally, the loading dock needs to know which green phases to turn into which number plates and vice versa. The electronics in cars today no longer resemble villages or small towns. They've grown into large towns and use plenty of CAM and FlexRay roads. Despite the shortcomings that have been discussed regarding each of these technologies, they obviously work. The question is, do they always work well? And will they still work when cars adapt from large towns into smart cities? Future smart and especially self-driving cars can be expected to adapt and change constantly and to grow, shrink and renew themselves over their complete lifetime. Some self-learning capability is required. So, how does Ethernet meet these requirements?